Welcome to this episode of Open Ask Kit by DIY 3D Tech Deck Out. This episode, I want to share a little tip that I came up with while working on this uh, holder for my Fleur. So, uh, the project here that I'm working on is actually a holder for the my second generation Fleur camera, which attaches to my Android cell phone. What I want to do is actually fly this on a drone, and I needed a mount. And what I'm going to do is connect the camera instead of directly to the phone. I'm going to use an OTG cable or you know USB on the go cable uh, to make the connection and then have this in front of the quadcopter. Now the camera is actually a rather odd um, configuration. You know even though it looks fairly arkiness here if that's a word arkiness. Um, so what I did is I actually scanned it and I created a polygon from it. And you can see the polygon code down here. Now I've shown how to do this before so I'm really not trying to show that piece here. Uh, however, the results that I got out of it is if I kind of uh, comment this out, I'm going to show you guys. So you can see kind of the front of this. It's very pixelated because it's not a perfect arc. And then the front of it actually kind of pops out, if you will. And so this, I printed this out and it was very functional, but it, frankly, it was ugly. And so... Um, I, I kind of vexed a little bit of how do I fix this and then what I decided to do was why don't I use an oval and just manually overset the oval so this is this is what I've created up here if I quit stuttering and so I added an oval now watch this as I push this out now this comes a nice clean front and then notice you know the nice intersections on the sides here I, I worked a little bit to get kind of get these perfect and, and unfortunately you know, without a ton of effort, it's very tough to get them perfect. You could fold them around a bit more and everything, but aesthetically, I found this okay. And especially after printing it out, it really isn't uh, that noticeable at all. Uh, this little, little tiny indent by a couple pixels because I tried expanding it out and then kind of wrapping it around. And anyways, uh, I found the recessed work better than the opposite of recess. What is the opposite of recess? I don't know. Uh, anyways, where it stuck out a little bit more. So just kind of wanted to share that piece with you. Now, you may be asking, Joe, how do you create an, an oblong or, you know, an oval in, in uh, OpenSCAD? And I'm glad you asked. So it's actually pretty simple. You just rescale a cylinder. So I've got the code down here. So I just created a module oval, you know, with, you know, height, height of the uh, cylinder, centered it. And boom, here you go. So you take, you know, uh, one to one scale on, in this case, because of the configuration. Now, this will vary depending upon how you want, where you want your oblongness, if that's even a word, of your oval to lie. I wanted it to lie in the y axis. So you see here, I took height over width and uh, you know X and Z are one and then just height and, and width over here of this and so uh, you know again you can find this out on the the internet too it's not not too hard there's a lot of examples out there for creating ovals but an oval is very handy to have and it's good to have an oval module in hand now again since we're dealing with a cylinder we have you know fragments here so you know one of the things to notice is that the uh, front is a bit fragmented so I could actually kick this up a little bit to a hundred and really turn it into a nice smooth opening uh, but one of the things you notice that the higher I get the more that this uh, transition point becomes noticeable and again I don't think it's that bad um, and I know it's not that bad because I've already printed this out and, and looked at it and actually I find it kind of um, aesthetically pleasing in a way so anyways just kind of wanted to share this if you you know come across something like this so now I'll tell you what um, just so you can kind of see how it all works in real life let's go watch a quick time lapse of this being printed and then let's meet back at the bench and then we'll take a look at some of the finished products so you'll see an iteration of well actually that an iteration of several different prints which I've done at the bench and how this looks so let's head over there
Welcome back. So we watched a time lapse and we talked about it and here we go. So I've done a couple iterations of this and I wanted to show you these just so you kind of get an idea. So this is the current one where I use the ellipse to clean this up. There's a few spots that poke through a little bit uh, but not bad. I could maybe move this out a quarter millimeter to solve that and I probably will. Um, slides in actually very nice. You kind of have to grip the sides a little bit and it pops in and then the front of the Fleur camera kind of locks in the circle. Now you can go the other way, but I have this foam piece on here to butt up against the phone. So that's a little bit tall for it to go, to go down here with USB coming out of the bottom, but if you remove it, it fits very nicely. Now you can kind of see probably how rough the front of these are. Now they're functional, but uh, not very cosmetically appealing. This is far more, it looks very professional, except I got a few bumps down here. I don't know if they came from the model uh, or um, just the way it was printed. I think I'd have to print another one to see. But anyways, wanted to share this with you. So this is kind of an interesting way to get to an end goal where we took uh, basically a scan of the object we created the center object to do the difference and then we created the outer object simply by scaling it up and then we took an ellipse and matched it to this kind of strange angle to kind of clean it all up so it came out pretty good so uh, anyways i'm pretty happy with it hopefully you found this interesting Pick, picked up a couple tips or tricks uh, working with your open scad project if you did hey give it a thumbs up and don't forget subscribe over there i put out regular content let me know if there's something particular you'd like to see in the comments below or maybe you have some tips and tricks you'd like to share i'm always interested in learning again hit me up in the comments and we'll see you guys in the next video cheers